Hey, what's up guys? I am back finally. I really apologize for how long it took for me to upload a new video. It took a while because I was on my last week at work and yeah, I no longer have a job. I quit my job and now I am a full-time YouTuber, which is, that's a fake job. I kid, it's actually, it's actually some decent amount of work to do all this stuff, but it's fun and it's what I love doing, so I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do what I love, do what I love doing. I'm gonna do it. So yeah, to catch y'all up, this last week was my final week at my day job and I quit that so I can do this 24 seven. This is my whole full job now, my whole job. Only place I make my money from now is making these videos. So please watch them or else I'll be homeless and my animals will die. I'm just kidding. I mean, if, I'll get another job if I have to, like if this doesn't go well, but I really do think it is going to go well and I love doing this. I'm very passionate about it. And I'm gonna work very hard. I'm thinking pretty soon here, like today or the next day, I'm gonna be at 100,000 subscribers, which is crazy. It's so crazy. Like I'm gonna have to do something special. My next video is gonna have to be something pretty cool to celebrate my 100,000 subscribers because y'all are really cool. Today's video is actually something pretty simple. Do y'all like my mug though? Look at this, it's just, it's a work of art. I made this when, when I was six. I, I signed it on the bottom, but I can't show you or else all my drink will spill out of it. Mm. That's how I can show y'all. I was just a really good artist. I think I'm on the same level as like Picasso. Is that a smiley face? Doesn't get any better than that. By the time this is uploaded, it will be Halloween. I'm sporting some Halloween colors, but I'm not in a costume because I didn't even have time to think up of a costume. I was too busy working and trying to juggle YouTube with work and cleaning and feeding all my animals, so didn't have time to think up a costume idea. You know actually what I should be. I have the perfect idea, actually. I'm going to go as a pet store employee. I just threw my name tag. Just gonna, there we go. I'm just gonna go as a, my Halloween costume is gonna be just, um, I'm a Petco employee. Um, I don't know if I'm actually supposed to say that I worked at Petco, so pet schmo. I don't know. I'll just carry around, <laughs> I'll just carry around some dead animals because Petco kills all their animals. Shoot. That was a joke. Petco doesn't kill their animals. Um, that was completely a joke. I don't work there anymore, so don't sue me. Petco, where the, Pets die. Only for Halloween though, because Petco doesn't kill their animals. Besides, I was talking about Pet Schmo, not Petco. Okay. I think I just I think I just found my Halloween costume. I actually really did just have these laying around the house. My mom decided to buy these. Anyway, let's get to the actual video now. So all I'm gonna be doing today is scrubbing my hedgehogs and showing you guys how I clean my hedgehogs. Since a lot of people probably have some stinky hedgehogs and want to know how to make them clean because they tend to, you know, spit stuff and flick stuff on themselves and get their quills all nice and dirty. So, so I'm going to show you guys today how to take a dirty hedgehog and make it clean. I hope y'all enjoy. Okay, so the first thing I do is I whip out my handy dandy fresh and clean. It's oatmeal scented. I don't know what to call it. It's oatmeal. It's not oatmeal scented. It has oatmeal in it and baking soda. Basically you want a very natural product for hedgehogs. I like this one because it has oatmeal in it which helps with dry skin. And most hedgehogs actually do have dry skin issues to a degree. Even if you don't see like really bad dry skin, this still will help your hedgehog. Anything that's like very natural oatmeal, you can even just do an oatmeal bath. Like grab some oatmeal from your freaking pantry and do an oatmeal bath that way. Whatever you want. And then you need a toothbrush because you're going to be cleaning your hedgehog with a toothbrush. You do not need a Mickey Mouse toothbrush. You can use any toothbrush you want. And I'm using a Mickey Mouse towel. The next thing you're gonna need are some nail clippers. You use the regular nail clippers. You have to really, really make sure, you have to really make sure you're not cutting the hedgehog's nails too short. Next we're gonna do the water. And for a hedgehog, you do want some, at least like lukewarm water. You just don't wanna do anything too hot, but definitely not too cold. Hedgehogs don't do well with cold. You It's really not good to fill the water up while they're already sitting in here. Not only can they put their face under the water and potentially hurt themselves and you know get water in their nose and in their ear, they can also just be very, very nervous from the overstimulation of all the water moving and all that. So I like to do it all first and then bring the hedgehog in afterwards. Like I said, one of the main keys is trying to make sure they don't breathe in that water and that they don't get it in their ears. It's okay if they like slightly duck their head under for the first few seconds because they're not gonna be expecting the water and they might, you know, get a little in their nose and then sniff it right back out. 
but you don't want to get it in their ears and you don't want to cause any problems like that. Here we have Kovu. He is my most shy hedgehog and he's also my dirtiest hedgehog. Show them your dirty body. Like look at all that right there. That's great. Bunch of dirt. Awesome. Great. When going to put them in the water, you want to go back first, not face first. And then the first thing we do is we clean them off, which is just you go through their quills and you use the brush to get all that stuff out. Make sure to get under the belly. The part that's not necessary that I do is I go around the nose. You don't want to get any on the nose actually, on the base of the nose, but on the snout area, I just like to get the dirt that he gets on there off. And then I go on the sides and I get all that stuff off. You know, I see everywhere that supposedly hedgehogs love baths. I don't know where that comes from. I don't know what wonderful hedgehogs you have that love baths. I've had four hedgehogs and none of them have ever enjoyed a bath, ever, ever. I like to hold his face when I clean the top part of his body because I don't want him to duck his face in the water and hurt himself. And the next thing I have to do now is I have to worry about the nails. And this part actually, a lot of people have a lot of issues cutting their hedgehog's nails because they don't think to do it in the bath. But if you clean your hedgehog's nails in the bath, they're less likely to ball up because there's a bunch of water underneath them. So I find it a lot easier, especially for finicky hedgehogs like this little guy here, to go ahead and do it in the bath. So you just search for a foot and you lift up and you clean. And I start by brushing them, trying to get all the dirt out with my brush, and then I clip. When you go to clip their nails, you just make sure you don't get the quick of the nail. Oh, I know you hate it. Oh, I know. It's so bad. It's so bad. It's so bad to be clean. I'm gonna go ahead and lift them up and take them away from the water so it's not like overwhelming noise. And put them back in. Sorry, I know, you thought you were done. Just to get all that stuff off of him that may have not come off right away. Your face. Let me see, let me see your face. And now we just gotta dry them off. Please never put a hedgehog back into their cage until they are completely dry. You don't want to put them in there cold. It can prompt them to want to hibernate. It's just not, it's not safe to put a hedgehog in there still wet. To dry them off, you just use a towel. If you're gonna use a blow dryer, do it on its lowest heat and definitely nowhere near their body. You're gonna to want to hold the blow dryer like far away. You don't want to do a big heated blow dryer blowing on them. That is extremely dangerous. People always ask me how I hold my hedgehog like this and if it hurts. Um, it's definitely not comfortable, but when you have hedgehogs, you get used to it. Also, when they're not mad, their quills are more relaxed, so it kind of just feels like little tacks slightly brushing against your skin, and when they're angry, it feels like tacks are going into your skin. So, either way is actually comfortable. This is not comfortable. I feel little, like, spines in my hand right now. When you've had them for as long as I do, you really get used to it. Actually, I got used to it right away when I had my very first hedgehog. Like, the first time I touched her, I was like, ow, this hurts, and then I was like, oh well. Saying hi? Ow. Please don't do that. Can you see? Let me turn the light back up. Can you see this? Can you see my hand? No, it doesn't really focus. There's little tiny holes on it. Due to time purposes, I don't wanna make this video too long, so I'm only gonna do one more hedgehog in this video, and that's gonna be Solara. If y'all don't know about Solara's story, I'll put the link in the description. She's She probably won't be around too much longer, sadly. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a video now where I clean her off. I'm gonna have to help her. I'm gonna make the water a little more shallow. I'm gonna have to hold her while we do this because she can't walk, okay? She has a really hard time walking, so I can't let her go in this. In this, She's probably gonna use the restroom a lot during this too because she can't make it to her litter box that well anymore. So since she's in warm water, it'll probably prompt her to get her body moving. That's very normal for her especially because she cannot really move around that much anymore. So you're not gonna see her moving around enough to stimulate her body. I'm gonna clip her nails real quick. I'm not gonna keep the water in there while I do it. She's already having a hard enough time moving. Y'all can't see, she does this very well. If you do accidentally cut the nails too short, which I often do with Solara, sadly, because her nails are very oddly shaped, they curl very weird, um, just put some cornstarch on there or some baking soda and that will help relieve the bleeding and just allow them to relax if the bleeding lasts more than, you know, an hour or so. You might need to see a doctor but um, or a vet, but it normally stops pretty quickly. But for small creatures like this who don't have a lot of blood in their body to begin with, 
it's just not good to see a lot of blood loss. Last year for Halloween, I went as a hedgehog. It was a last minute decision. And by last minute, I mean on October 31st in the middle of the day, I decided to rub some makeup all over my face and look like a hedgehog. This time I should step it up a little and go as like a zombie pet store worker with dead animals. I'm feeling it. Kind of want to be a fish though, that'd be kind of cool too. Kind of want to be nothing. I think these colors are good enough. I got in the spirit good enough. Okay, so that was the video. I hope y'all enjoyed watching. So I hope y'all guys enjoyed watching. If y'all have any other questions, comment below. I just killed the dead lizard. I'm actually thinking I'm going to be filming another video tomorrow, which is actually today by the time you're watching this. Um, on Halloween, which it's Halloween as you're watching this, I'm going to be filming another video. Hopefully it'll be up on Tuesday, if not Wednesday. I'm going to be now getting together a very consistent uploading schedule, like, you know, three times a week at this time or two times a week at this time. Like, I don't know what, I don't know exactly what it's going to be right now, but I do know I'm going to be getting together one right as we speak. You know, I'm going to go, I'm going to go figure it out, and then I'll let y'all guys know, hopefully in this next video, what my consistent uploading schedule is going to be. Thank y'all guys for watching, and thank you guys for the nearly 100,000 subscribers. That's crazy. I love it. I love you guys. I love doing this, so thank you. I will see you next time, except I don't see you. You will see me. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Bye, bye, bye. Bye, and I hope y'all guys have a wonderful Halloween. And if you don't celebrate Halloween, I hope y'all have a wonderful Monday. Even though Mondays normally aren't fun, go have a fun Monday. Do something fun. Be fun. Have fun.